AITA for proceeding with building a pool in my backyard after my neighbor asked me not to. My partner and I are building a pool in our backyard. We do not have any kids. By choice. I have a neighbor whose husband is in gone out of town a lot for work. They have two kids. We've had small chit chat here and there but aren't close by any means. She had noticed we were working with some developers in the backyard and casually asked what it was about and told her we were getting a pool. Then she looked like she saw a ghost and proceeded to explain to me. I've never met her kids. That her 15-year-old son has special needs and has a tendency to wander. I don't know exactly what his needs are I didn't ask as it's none of my business. That she tries her best to keep track of him but all I have to do is turn my back for a second in. He's gone in a split second. She said she had to call the police a few times to find him. Then proceeded to beg me not to put a pool in the yard because it would be dangerous for her son. And she can't guarantee he won't wander and want to go in the pool. That despite her best efforts he still gets out sometimes. I told her we are complying with all insurance requirements. Building a fence around pool. Putting a tarp on when not in use etc. She explained that he is able to unlock doors and fences and the pool will be a death trap for him. That he's fast and strong and once again. It only takes a second and he's gone. I told her I sympathize with her plight but she has absolutely no right to tell us what we can and cannot have on our own property. And it is her responsibility to make provisions to safeguard her son. AITA? NTA. But given this information, I'd probably do a padlock on the gate or more. Depending on where you live. Insurance claims and liability can be real finicky about pools. Although it sounds like you are following all their guidelines. NTA, you can build a pool on your land and she has a very realistic right to be scared. And while I sympathize with her, if all the things she mentioned are so uncontrollable and real. Your pool is not the problem, the whole world is a major death trap and she needs to figure out other ways to protect her son. If you have all the protective measures in place and he still wanders in there and it becomes dangerous, I don't even want to start to think about where else he could wander in. So no. Definitely not the a hole but I would consider additional protective measures and potentially consult the family what protective measures could help keep him out. If not only for his safety but also for your privacy reasons. She can get the kind of alarm system installed so that if a window or door is opened the alarm will go off and she'll be aware when he does it. NTA. If she cannot prevent her son from harming himself on someone else's locked property, then she is incapable of caring for her son and needs to seek assistance. This is not your problem. NTA. As a mom, I can empathize with her wanting to keep her son safe. Especially a special needs child. Unfortunately, she needs to understand that not everything, everyone will bend to accommodate her son. This is your yard and you're following the safety requirements. You don't owe her anything. You're absolutely right in saying it is her responsibility. She's making excuses while she should be increasing safeguards on her side to prevent him from wandering. Best of luck. NTA, but you better build a good fence. NTA silly question but can they mo get a better alarm system? I was a perpetual sleepwalker as a kid to the point where I broke out of the house in my sleep at 4. My family's remedy to this was to get an alarm system that would go off automatically if someone left after a certain time. NTA, I understand the mother's worry. But if her son is that difficult, she really needs to find a solution to protect her child. There are far more dangers in a neighborhood than just a pool. NTA, she is just going to have to figure out something before the pool is built, like a padlock. 
NTA. There's a million other ways he could get injured without your pool being involved. Her son is her responsibility and solely hers. You shouldn't live your life tiptoeing in fear of a hypothetical scenario. If she's this worried, then she should consider relocating to a state covered with fields and open space and move out to the country where she has no neighbors and put a fence up with security cameras. NTA. Perhaps your neighbor needs to implement better security in her home to protect her son. It's not reasonable to ask someone to refrain from developing on their own property. You don't have to give up owning a pool because she has a special needs son. That just ridiculous of her to even ask. NTA of 15 yo who escapes and can climb fences isn't safe whether you have a pool or not. Make sure you have the proper fence and security measures but she has a bigger problem than your pool to sort out, unfortunately. Sounds like she needs some help with her kid. You're NTA. But is there multiple fences? I would get an alarm. And maybe a padlock to use when you're not there. CYA. Up. NTA. I don't blame the mom for being worried. But asking you to not install a pool is a bit much. That said, maybe you could work with her to try to come up with some security measures to make her feel a bit more comfortable? On her dime. Of course. You are under absolutely no obligation to do that. And not doing it wouldn't make you an awe. But it would be a nice gesture and might help with your insurance liability issues. Plus, while it isn't your problem, I'm sure you don't want the boy to get hurt or worse. Edited to fix a word. I work with dementia patients in home settings who also wander. There are so many safety devices for doors, windows, etc. Neighbor needs to get some installed in her home. Pool or not, this lady needs some security. I cannot imagine how she copes under the constant threat that her son will walk away. NTA but I would put a padlock or alarm on the fence around your pool. Just in case. It's your right to put a pool on your own property and I get that you're following all safety guidelines from the insurance company. But with a special needs neighbor kid who tends to wander. It's better to be safe than sorry. NTA as long as it's fenced and locked it should be fine. NTA. I get where your neighbor is coming from. But his son isn't your responsibility. You can always just lock the gate. 2. NTA but maybe lock it with a key not just a lift latch. Nah. She's understandably concerned but it is still your property and you can do what you want. It may be worth making sure the fence stays locked. Though. If you enjoyed this video. Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.